And here we are again. Welcome, everyone. I don't have. Oh, here we are. Okay. Hello. Hi, Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to our friends from all over the world for one more session of We Are One today with Petra Elmendorf. Super. Welcome, dear. Thank you so much, Ellie. Thank you so much, for everybody coming. It's a true a gift, this opportunity of being together with our community from so many places around the planet. And thank you for being with us today, Petra. Thank you so much, Ellie. Thank you for hosting this and making it easy to um, be with such a medium. Um, yeah, go ahead. Please, oh, okay. now it's with you. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. So again, I like to welcome all of you. And I am really happy that we have this tool, that we have the possibility to connect in, uh, in these times in such a way. And just if I fantasize and see you sitting in all these different countries, it's just my heart opens. Um, I am very happy. So the journey continues and we are all still in this together. We, you know, it's time, it's week after week and we all, most of us are restricted or limited in our activities and social distancing, you know, that's a very interesting word to, to contemplate on. And as I said before, I like to see this as an opportunity to spend more time with myself. I mean, how, how long or how often can you clean your house or whatever you want to do while you have so much time? But I really like to see it. In, and I see it also on a bigger picture as like, this is like a collective retreat. And as the factor time comes in now, and time, you know, just time stretches. And, you know, it's... It makes a difference if it's just a week or it makes a difference if it's a month. And you might have noticed that too, a shift in the way we handle things or the shift how, uh, what happens inside and outside uh, of our, in our lives. And the offering of time for me is an offering to go deeper and to uh, connect deeper, deeper to myself. And you know, sometimes maybe you have done also meditation retreats or sometimes you, wherever, sometimes when there is other circumstances, we can't just be our normal us. It is really interesting to do self-studies and just watch and listen and feel what is coming up. And especially in this collective time where, you know, there is not just we have time and we, we are not busy with, with activities. We are also in a very unique situation that we are facing into an unknown future. We are facing um, factors of insecurity or the unknown. And so I, I love uh, using this time as, as um, potential for inner awareness. Seeing Jin Jin Jitsu and you all, the most of you know this, and maybe if you're here for the first time, so welcome. For me, what I love about Jin Jin Jitsu and what keeps me hooked into Jin Jin Jitsu is not that we have fantastic flows. We have so many flows for, you know, all sorts of symptoms. It is the fact that in Jin Jin Jitsu, we have an awareness of how mind and body are connected. And not just the mind, it is the emotional, the emotionally charged thought that has the power to influence the physical structure. You all know this. I mean, stressful feelings just touch your heart, your heartbeat, and you know, you know, everything is different as if I'm relaxed and chilled. And this magical connection that it is the invisible energy and becoming a physical form and that the link between these two planes of vibration is through the emotions 
And this is where we have our powers. This is where we have the power because we have the free freedom to choose what we want to energize. And again, in these times, now the third week, or is it already four weeks or five weeks in the retreat? Um, this matters because as we go deeper, and I can only share with you how I feel about it and what is happening with me, things just start coming up. And we have stuff that can come up. It, you know, it can be triggered through the outer circumstances. It can be just an old antique that I have never had time before or didn't spend a lot of time and energy on to look at. And so I was um, playing with the idea, what, what do I like to do in these days? And this is what I share with you. Um, for me, my favorite self-help right now is the diagonal mediator. In Jin Jin Jitsu, we have harmonizing energy principles for harmony, universal principles. And one of these principles is a so-called mediator. And as the name is saying, the mediator is a mediating capacity that helps us with extremes. And we are living in times of extremes. We have isolation or at least distancing. We have full stop in our normal activity. We have all the consequences that go with that. And then we have the other extreme of so much time. And, you know, of course, this is very often balanced or mirrored in um, emotional intensities or polarities, in emotional ups and downs, and hills and valleys. And the mediator for me is not only mediating when it becomes extreme and helps us to find an, the balance, the equilibrium, the center. Because each time we return to the center, we are reminded of our strong spirit. We are reminded of our trust. We are reminded of life is love. And so this handling of the extremes at the same time, the mediator for me is the flow, staying in the flow, going with the flow, and meaning being with whatever is, is. And whatever is, is can be that I'm going through some stuff or now I'm okay. Now I'm even happy. And, you know, maybe some of you have experienced that too. Sometimes I sit here and think, wow, there is so much love in the air. I feel like maybe because there is not so much activity or people are not so distracted that there is more love molecules. I don't know. And then other times, you know, you are going through whatever kind of stress that might happen. People experience a lot of stress. And, and so, because the mediator has this gift, this present of, you know, keeping it flowing, keeping it flowing, especially when there's stuff coming up or we are stuck somewhere, just keeping it flowing, not by resisting or deciding or pushing or whatever, doing something with it, finding a solution or whatever. No. It's an allowing because the mediator for me is a lot like water. It helps us to flow. It is more flowing, accepting, being with, cleansing and moving on, being soft with it, being gentle with it. And the self version is very simple. It is actually just one step. So I will do both sides with you. And on the other hand, um, before we do that, I will again have the focus on the heart and help us to remind ourselves of our strong spirit, that we are all strong in spirit and that we can trust and let go. But before we do this, um, there's another factor or there's another reason that I like to share with you why the mediator for me is, um, is pulling my attention right now. First, again, the balance. Then, because it is so, it's a great helper for emotional balance. It works with the emotional body. And the emotional body being the link 
between the invisible and the and the organ flow, for example, and the, the building of the body, the diagonal mediator is also almost like a bridge between these two levels. So here, as I'm harmonizing my polarities and my process, I'm also uh, harmonizing my feelings and raising the vibration of my feelings and moving maybe from stress into feelings of higher vibration like trust and compassion and this is what i think is important to know because where we place our attention again is where the energy moves and especially strong emotions pull a lot of attention so if i'm moving there and flowing there i can shift my focus easily and raise my vibration so if you want to, I'd like to invite you for this little treat. It's so simple, and that's why I also love it. Uh, make yourself comfortable. I don't know if you're sitting, if you're lying. You're, I mean, I'm having to be in front of a camera, but um, usually I love to launch or chill somewhere on my couch. So we do it together here. First of all, you know, let's just cross our hands like this on the chest. And I like to do it in such a way, it's like a butterfly. I like to do it so my thumbs are really also touching the center on my chest, which is, you know, the heart chakra. It's where we have the center of the heart. And we are touching the 13, safety angel of number 13, this energy center here of the chest, on the chest. And as I'm touching myself, if you want, you can close your eyes. I'm touching the power to remind ourselves of the spirit in all of us. This is our access to our spiritual knowledge. This is where we trust. This is where we know no polarities. This is where we see everything as one. And this is where we can have access to feelings like compassion and joy, joy for life. And as we touch ourselves here, you might want to feel the center, feel the touch of your hands, and just follow your breath. And I like to breathe into this heart center with a um, slow way, if I can, just slowing my breath down. And as the breath is slowing down, it also uh, might become deeper. And I do that on purpose because this is, again, like a factor. It's like if you're slowing your breath, and you're breathing in and out of your heart, there's something that happens to your heart intelligence as it also begins to relax the brain. And as we move away from thinking and analyzing, we are actually, we are having a chance to again feel more oneness, more connectedness, and more compassion for everybody around us and especially for ourselves too. And then we have the 13 tuning in, which is the power of transformation. And we bring awareness into ourselves. And just keep breathing and keep slowing the breath and just feeling into the possibility of remembering joy and connectedness. Remember trust. Remember that we have been there. We are always there.
And the energy begins to center itself in this place. And now we start with the mediator. And let's start on the left side, meaning I take my right hand and I place it on the shoulder. I'm just placing it like this, meaning my fingertips holding the back of my shoulder close to the shoulder blade. And this is where we touched safety energy lock number three. Most of you know this. This is an energy center that is a door. I love that. And it's not just a door. It's a swinging door, meaning it has, it, it's, it's open to both sides. And so for that, of course, it is perfect for the mediator. And then we um, make a ring with the thumb and the ring finger. And at the same time now, depends what your position is you're in, you touch both of your knees together. You just you have both of your knees together. And then again, we are touching the big breath and the small breath of life and we're holding, we're keeping the doors open, we're keeping the fluidity open. And we relax, we relax into this position and allowing the image of flow. Allowing the image of flow and be with what is. Just be with what is. Allowing means I'm not judging. It can just be there. And just feel into it. Just feel how are you right now. And be okay with that. It's not about changing, it's not about analyzing, not even understanding. It is an exercise in being what is, is, and allowing what is, is, to be okay with what is. And then maybe, you know, you think, oh, be okay, I'm not okay with what is, and then you be okay with that. Just like the water, no resistance, just everything is okay, it just flows. And if you don't hang on to it, it just moves. It moves by itself. All it is, it comes to the surface and we have a chance to greet it and to see it and to welcome it and to move on. And especially those thoughts and feelings that we know so well because they repeat themselves. So we just be with what is and if it comes back, it comes back and if it leaves, it leaves. Whatever is, is. And as I apply this easiness, the effortless, you might already notice that your shoulders begin to drop. Maybe your exhalation is a little easy. And again, stay with, stay inside and stay with your focus. And again, whatever comes up is welcome. No preferences, no changes, no interfering. We are just now being like water. We are just flowing with it. And if there's sometimes a tsunami, that's fine too. Just be the tsunami. And relaxing, into flowing. And if you like to use a bit of your mind in it, you might just Imagine even how left and right side are communication, communicating, how is, there's a balancing happening now between left and right, or inside, outside, or up and down.
and we remember to trust and that everything happens on its own accord. If we trust the flow, And if you like, we would do now the other side. Now you take your left hand and place it on your right shoulder. And again, we make a little ring with thumb and ring finger. And again, as we are touching the ring finger, we do a lot for the lungs on the physical plane, but also for the invisible breathing, the breath essence, which we call you know, the breath of life or the big breath of life. Um, it's that it is that breath essence before we even breathe that what connects us to the universe. So this is what we are holding here. And I hope this works out here with my microphone. Okay. Again, the two knees together. And we can, if you like, again, close our eyes. You can keep them open, whatever. As long as you're able to tune inside. And again, nothing to do. Just be with what is. Yeah, just be with what is. And even if it's big, or if there's nothing, then be with nothing. Whatever is there is okay. Is okay. And every second we have a chance to be okay with everything that comes up. And like the water just flowing. It's here and the moment it's gone. It's there the moment it's gone. If I don't interfere, it comes up. It is greeted and blessed with our attention, our awareness, and then it moves on. And we keep breathing. And you might allow yourself to even feel a bit deeper. Maybe there's something else, maybe not. Whatever it is, it is. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. We are just watching the process. We are healing. We are harmony and trust. We are all going home. Home to what we all know and always know in, inside of us. And again, just being okay with it. And if you can't be okay with what comes up, what you feel, what you think, then you then you'll be okay with not being okay. And trusting this mediating principle, trusting this principle of connecting and balancing, finding a balance, finding the center. You don't have to do anything for that. It's taken care of. It is taken care of. And that's why the three which we are holding is so big here, because the three is saying, I'm a door that is open to both sides, so I have no preferences. I just go with what is needed. I'm not closing, I'm not holding, I'm not locking, I'm open. And feel how your shoulders might relax and really already 
be the physical mirror of what we are doing here as little exercise. The letting go. The body begins to ease. And as we, rem as we harmonize, we remember because harmony is our birthright. We become more natural. And again, whatever is, is. Whatever is happening is okay. so interesting for me i'm doing this exercise with you and and i notice how the energy is changing in me and then um, it's hard to speak again <laughs> so um, whatever is is you know um, i'm just happy we can share this and as i was holding as i was treating myself i i felt very connected to you so you can do it much longer than we do now and you don't always have to do both sides. You can just pick one which calls you. It can be a few minutes, but it can be an hour or two if you like to. Again, time, you know, we have time. And it's a pleasure to be with you. It's a pleasure to share this worldwide and from all over the places we are now one. So i like to thank Ali again that you made this possible. And I hope to, I see you next time around. Bye. Thank you all. See you next time. Tomorrow, 2 p.m., we'll be here. Thank you.